How's it going YouTube? DM Tombstone Bounce back here again with a brand new video and obviously from my last video which was about Wrestlemania. Last night's Monday Night Raw. If you guys haven't seen it, spoiler alert, obviously we've seen new titles come out <clears throat> and obviously it's replacing these. The tag team of Awesome Truth with R-Truth and The Miz, they are ditching the old Raw tag team titles and actually, they have a new name to them now. They call themselves the World Tag Team Title. I mean, the World Tag Team Champions. Which in this new era, which is known as the Triple H era, it sounds awfully familiar like it's trying to revisit the Ruthless Aggression era. Which if you know on WWE Shop, we have Ruthless Aggression Tag Teams. Uh, you know, the original... Raw Tag Team Titles and the SmackDown Tag Team Titles, they were called World Tag Team and WWE Tag Team. But before we go to know about what's going to happen on SmackDown and getting rid of those SmackDown Tag Titles and getting the new Tag Titles for them, let's take a look at what the new World Tag Team Title looks like. <clears throat> I got it up here on my Xbox and here it is of the design. And I gotta say, it looks pretty damn good i'll give you that i mean you can see like some texture design in the shield part with the globe <coughs> sorry obviously it comes with sidebars with jewels in them the strap i mean it has designs in the strap too and the side plates with cut they have custom side disc in it and funny i know this is probably a photo of the this is supposed to be a replica they think it's going to be on pre-order but I already know this ain't the replica they have of it. I know it has to be the real one because, A, these screw parts that are on the plate, they look like they can be removed from the front. And the, everyone knows about when it comes to replicas from WWE, their, their side plates screw from the back. Unless they might have changed them up and do screws from the front, I'm not sure. But if they can do more realistic and have the belt screw, I mean, take those screw out from the front, then that all means, because the only belt they have that they have main plates screw out from the front is this belt right here. All these other belts of mine that you see side disc on, I have them to where you can screw them from the back. But I'm going to grab my controller and there's another view of it. it has the circular main plate like the four, last tag title has the red banners to make it sure it represents raw but something's a little odd about it doesn't this design look extraordinarily familiar let me take a look in the next side plate all right let's yeah look at this design it looks extraordinarily familiar it almost looks somewhat like that the world title with all these pattern designs and the three and the way the plates look, yeah, it looks almost exactly the same. Only difference is, instead of uh, lions on the side plate, it looks like griffins or birds or something. I think they're griffins. But I'm pretty sure I know how they're doing this because since it's going to be more like a brand split of Raw and SmackDown, Raw's going to have a specific design for their titles, like for the men's world, the women's world, and of course the men's tags. They're all going to have look exact same design features to it, as you can see here. And you, I, another thing I can say, it actually has, the tag titles are going to have belt tips now. <coughs> Unlike the last tag titles. In fact, the only last time I recall tag titles having belt tips in WWE was back then when it was the WWF World Tag Team titles. So, it's been a while since tags have had belt tips. I mean, if, if I'm wrong, let me know in the comments below. And, of course, I know this is the real belt and not a fake belt. You can see this here is a Velcro strap with fake snaps on it. The replica, obviously, there'll be no Velcro and there'll be real straps. I mean, real snaps. I mean, unless WWE may have changed it. I mean, unless WWE is now starting to do Velcro straps for the real belts to make them realistic. But, obviously, this is the real belt. I know it ain't the replica because the replicas aren't 
pictures of a replica hasn't come out yet. So, uh, yeah. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, <laughs> trying to reset up my camera when I paused it, but then I accidentally turned off the camera. So I had to re-record, so now I put this two videos in together. So yeah, that was the thoughts and what the new World Tag Team titles look like. And I gotta say, bad enough already, I'm trying to get my collection up to par with from getting more belts from the past now. And now I'm trying to get more belts for today. <clears throat> like now, these and of course the Undisputed World title, I gotta think about getting. But obviously with the amount of time I'm money I have I gotta probably see if I can still try to get them one at a time but anyway yeah and now comes to the thought of what the Smackdown tag titles are gonna be like obviously I had thoughts about it and I talked to this to my a buddy of mine through the social media and he's not here known on YouTube the another belt collector guy named Stephen Hammer I talked to him I was like what do you think of the world tag titles and be like are you thinking about getting because I sure as want to get them he's like not yet, he wants to hear more people review them. And yeah, I would say, so, and obviously, po them posting the video up on WWE Shop, uh, obviously, like I said, when they post new belts, like the, literally the day of when they reveal them, most likely they're not gonna show the replica pi pictures. They're gonna show the pictures of the actual title before that, and then they're updated again with the replicas. But I still love the belts. And then now with the WWE, I mean, the SmackDown tag titles that's going to happen on Friday, obviously with Grayson Waller and Austin Theory, they're going to probably get rid of those titles and have new titles, which I think they're, if I call this correct, if they're really going to follow like the Ruthless Aggression era, the SmackDown tag titles are going to be now called the WWE tag titles. Just like how Basically, every six, like the titles for the each brand look almost exactly the same to the other persons. That's exactly what they're gonna do with the SmackDown tags. Like on Raw, the men's and women's world titles look are exactly the same, and now the men's tag titles almost have the exact same design feature to it. Now we're gonna see how the SmackDown tag titles are gonna look because I think they're gonna look exactly close to the designs of the men's and women's titles, world titles in SmackDown. Like SmackDown has the undisputed title, the women's undisputed title, or women's title as they call it. And now we're gonna probably see the WWE tag team titles look somewhat have the exact same design feature. But anyway, that is it for me. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And Tell me what you guys think about the new world tag titles on Raw in the comments below. And don't forget to follow my guy Stephen Hammer on his YouTube channel, Stephen Hammer, where he does reviews and belts just like how I do. He's a good guy and hit him up. Tell him I sent you. And so I hope you guys so don't forget to like, don't forget to share. And if you haven't subscribed, please do, guys. I'm getting close to 500. Think of that. I'm less than 20 away from... 20 subscribers away from 500 subscribers. Ain't that something special for me? And as well, follow me on my social media, like on Twitter, at, well, not Twitter, X at dm 296 and on Instagram at dm 96 where I usually post stuff there before I post stuff here on YouTube. And as well, stay tuned, because eventually, sometime here this week or next week, I'm going to be getting another thing to review. So stay tuned for that. I'm DM2 Snow Belts. I'll see you guys in the next video.